Welcome to the 30th anniversary of Jazz at LACMA. Tonight, we're proud to present the Zane Carney Quartet. Thanks for tuning in to our virtual Jazz at LACMA concerts as we celebrate 30 years of this weekly free concert series from the museum. My name is Mitch Glickman, Director of Music Programs here at LACMA. We can't wait to invite you back to the museum. Right now, we're still staying safe. No audiences yet, but very soon. We are thrilled, however, to put together some of the finest musicians in the world to keep this great jazz concert series going. Jazz at LACMA concerts are made possible in part from a grant from the City of Los Angeles, Department of Cultural Affairs. Our broadcasts are made possible through the support of the Office of Los Angeles County Supervisor, Sheila Kuehl. And promotional support comes from KJAZZ 88.1. Every Sunday night, 7 p.m., you can tune into Jazz at LACMA, our two-hour radio broadcast. Now tonight, we get to feature Zane Carney and his quartet. They recently released the recording, Alter Ego, which continues to climb the jazz charts worldwide. 
Zane's wide ranging career has included projects with John Diversa, Thundercat, John Mayer, Avril Lavigne, and his other band you may have heard of, Carney. Please put those virtual hands together for the Zane Carney Quartet. <laughs>
Thank you. Maybe if you clapped on in the internet. Thank you so much, everyone. Internet clap. Internet clap. Bam. My name is Zane Carney. Thank you so much for listening online. We have the incomparable Katice Buckingham on saxophone over here, and flute, and alto flute, and all woodwinds. We got Jerry Watts Jr. on bass back here. Oh, man. We have the insane Ronald Bruner Jr. with us. I'm one of my favorite people on the entire planet Earth. And hey, baby. And my name is Zane Carney, and we're going to play some, uh, some up-tempo jazz type stuff now. This is a rearrangement we did of Olio. So that first piece was a song called Brain Freeze, which is the first single off this album, Alter Ego. And then you heard a song called Alter, which has a, a 
sibling, a cousin that you'll be hearing later, and that was, of course, Olio. Um, right now, we're going to play another original piece. The spirit of this record was we wanted to get tape machines, vintage mics, and then play modern jazz through it. Um, so the goal, I think, was to have less composition and more free improvisation. This next song is called Lost, and it was take two of us just being free. So right now, you're going to hear take five or six of it, because <laughs> we rehearsed it a couple times, sort of. Hope you enjoy this.
This is so fun. Thank you so much for listening out there in the virtual world. This next song is, uh, that, was, that was Pitchfork. That was our single that's on a few different Spotify playlists. Uh, but this next song, in the title it says Minority featuring Catisse Buckingham for a very specific reason, because he's insane and I love him. And you're about to hear him play the flute. Hope you enjoy this rendition of Minority.
Here we are for our 30th anniversary of Jazz at LACMA with the Zane Carney Quartet. So Zane, your career has really taken so many different paths. Jazz, blues, rock, pop. Do those names mean anything to you? Oh, as far as genre? Yeah. That's a great question, yeah. You know, I, I grew up with this gentleman right here, so yeah, we, we kind of grew up together with the whole uh, who, who knows what a genre is, um, yeah. I don't know, I, my brain's still fried from the enjoyment of playing music with these guys. So I'm trying to think of how to answer that question. It's a, it's a great question. Um, I love playing blues with people. I love playing jazz with people, rock, all of it. But I, I do tend to play the contrarian, whatever situation I'm in. I enjoy juxtaposition. So I don't know. I, I really love playing different genres. That's beautiful. Yeah. And you've assembled this incredible all-star cast. So let's kind of go around and meet each of these players. They're all well known to the Jazz at LACMA fans. We've had them here on many occasions. But talk about how they've got connected with your band. Yeah, so, so Jerry and Catisse, we all play in the John Diversa big band. And we recorded this record with uh, Gene Coy. So that was basically the John Diversa band. Okay. Catisse, can I say the name that you come up with? It's very funny. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Katis goes, this is the non-diversa band. Oh. <laughs> so it's, wait, wait. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but so, uh, so the idea was I loved, I loved uh, playing the baked potato and, and Catalina and all that stuff with a big band. And um, at 2 a.m. we do these crazy out there impressionistic moments over some of John's songs. And I thought, what if we just captured that? So the idea was basically to do what we've done with John and then um, make it more of a quartet, uh, wackadoodle thing. Um, and then Gene couldn't make this show, and I texted Ronald. Ronald said yes, and Ronald's like one of my, not one of, he's my favorite drummer in the entire universe. So it was an honor. Seriously, man, I just... You feel all good. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. So yeah, Ronald and I went to uh, different high schools, but I've known Ronald since I was like 11? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can tell the story if you want. Uh, hi, <laughs> my name is Ronald. And I'm from the planet Bruner. Anyway, uh, we met each other as kids. Yeah, I used to have a, a TV show that I was doing for ABC called One Saturday Morning, and they wanted to put together a little band to go with this idea. And so I met his brother, and we instantly clicked off as far as musicians. Just we come from the same. He was like, oh, we're both into craziness. And then uh, as time progressed on, I started going and hanging around everybody. Then he had this little brother, and this little brother somehow he would weasel his way out into all the, the creps of the stuff we were chasing back then, all the jam sessions. And somehow you look up, and Zane was right there with it. <laughs> And um, as we got older, we went through high school together, and, we, and then as soon as we got old enough to go out to the clubs and drink, we started playing all the jazz club. We just went in. As soon as 21, it was like, ah! And then once that happened, uh, then we became these big monsters we are now. And uh, we're just trying to play some music, man, and trying to make it feel good, you know? At the end of the night, have a great evening. Yeah, man. That's a great story. Yeah. And again, it's great to have those long-term connections. Those are very rare, as you well know. Yeah. Big time. So let's talk about Jerry. Jerry's been here with pretty much all these different bands. Do you want to talk about the different groups you've been Gosh. to? Let's see, I played here with Billy Childs, what Katice and I did with, uh, with Joey Heredia, and uh, Justo Mario, and Dori Kaimi, and John Diversa, and Katice's own band, yeah. and I don't know if I forget. But that covers <laughs> pretty much every style known to mankind. Yeah, well, okay. Well, there's, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe two more. But again, that speaks to your talents and diversity and breadth. Yeah, well, I just, I just, I just, I get bored really fast. First of all, and and uh, and I just love, uh, I particularly love like jumping in last minute. That's like my my thing, kind of because you're so like in the moment and there's no. And I love sight reading, like really hard stuff and and, and just challenging things and and listening and and interacting with with such high level people. And I'm so you know it was so fun to do this record. Zane called us and we just. We just, we just in. started playing. That was it. And uh, I'm really thrilled with the way it came out. I'm so glad, glad to be here today. I'm, my first time playing with Ronald. Wait, what? And, uh, yeah, 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 that's true. And uh, Ron's dad is right over there. And I used to play with Ron's dad back in the day. Many, nice. many, many gigs. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of a thrill for me to, to play, you know, have both generations here. And it's really it's a special, special night. Very sweet. And let's jump over here to Catisse, Catisse Buckingham, the multi-instrumentalist wizard, I think that might have been one of your words, well, dis well on display tonight. But again, you kind of are cut from the similar cloth. Genres mean nothing to you. You do so much so well across the board. Is that just how you grew up? Yeah, that's how I grew up. I mean, the first record I got when I was five or so was uh, the Allman Brothers, Eat a Peach. And uh, I grew up on all that stuff and, you know, I was listening to... Uh, you know, classic rock and, and folk music and bluegrass. And then, you know, I f first heard hip hop and reggae and punk and, and then jazz. And, you know, I just, I don't feel like I fit in any of those things because I like all of them so much. And I do a lot of recording sessions, film, TV, things like that. And so it's fun to be able to bring a bit of myself to it, but also be able to play a wide array of colors and styles. And somebody says, this is a ska thing. It's like, I love ska. Right. This is a big band thing. I love big band. This is a hip hop thing. I love hip hop. Yeah. You know, so why not play it? I, it, it seems counterintuitive to me to just do one thing and sound like one way when I like all of these different things. Why not try to embody them somehow in my own way? And uh, I just want to echo with these guys. I just over the moon to play with all of them. This music is so awesome because it is so open. You could really go anywhere and everybody's so supportive. Nobody's coming from an ego standpoint, but there's so much muscle, there's so much power. So you could really go anywhere and they'll, they'll, they'll support it. They can do it. You can't throw them a curve that they can't catch. And that's so fun as a, you know, as a single note instrument. It's really great. 
Yeah, that's a great way to do it. And obviously on display tonight were beautiful features all through the evening. So thank you all for being part of the 30th anniversary of Jazz at LACMA. We appreciate it. And that's going to wrap up tonight's virtual pro program from LACMA. Thank you for joining us. Want to let you know that these broadcasts are made possible in part through the support of the Office of Los Angeles County Supervisor, Sheila Kuehl. You want to go to our website, lacma.org slash music. You'll learn all the latest. We're about to announce some exciting things, so check out the website. We can't wait to get you back here at the museum for our live concerts. Until then, good night from the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Thank you.